and welcome to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great, Case for Kirk, one of the legends of, of all-around speed skating, multiple times world record holder, world champion, one of the greatest ever. Mm. And what I want to do today, this is Bislett 1967, what a great venue, Bislett's just the funnest place to skate, and here he is in 1967 racing the 5,000 meter, and he went 7.13 in 1969 think about that my personal at the outdoor rink in milwaukee is 713 that was in 1988 think about how fast this guy was in his era so let's understand what made case for kirk just a dutch legend one of the greatest all-around speed skaters ever world record holder from 67 through 70 and let's see what makes him take on the ice Don't you love the crowd? Look at the crowd here. This is the in those days, you know, look at Calgary now, it's like twenty five people in the stands. These were the days, man, I'm telling you. So we can already see a few key things about Case for Kirk's technique. Oh Case for Kirk. I think that's probably how they say it in Netherlands very loose so flexible you know the kinetic chain the kinetic chain depends on flexibility if one area of your body is isolated it will inhibit the other area of your body so you have to be loose kinetic chain it's a simple um, well, it's a complicated way to say everything needs to work together. Don't get cut off in it. All right. So we can all see energy. See this energy? Watch this in slow motion. Watch the energy. One skate, one skate, one, 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 one. That is excellent. So he's already, even, it's way harder with a fixed blade to be one skate, but look at this depth, look at this extension, and look where he is. He's way out over his skate, just crushing it, and early and getting rest, just like nowadays. So, before clap, look at this, this is so nice. Of course, you cannot get way out over, like Niels Vanderbilt's head would be way over here. You can't do that in this era. But for what you have, look at how how early he is on his pressure entering this turn. No wasted time, none. Let's look at the turn here. In these days, you wanted to have an angle maximize your force, your force on the left, your force on your hip, into the ice. And you did that by a little lean here. And... These were slower speeds. However, the key thing is one skate on the ice, and he does it so well. I want to show you a side angle because we don't we don't get this angle much anymore in any video we have. But look at this just fluid, excellent non-movement. There's no up and down. It's really clean into the ice, and it's just so fluid. Watch this. See how relaxed he is? So whatever era you are in, relax into your push. Get it done early. Push before you push. Be done before it's over, and you will have this kind of relaxation. It's just poised. He's poised right on that left already. It's really nice. We talked about this early reversal of the arm. Notice how his arm isn't way out here. It's timing. He's reversing that arm fast so he can put pressure on that left right there. So just excellent turns. And there's a fascinating angle right here I want to show you from the side. We don't get this much these days in videos. But watch this exit. So what do we see here? We see great pressure on the ice, one skate on the ice driving forward, coming through the hit zone, 
with lots and lots of lateral compression. He's, it's under him, you can see that. And then drive forward. It was really hard in those days to keep pressure on this skate without putting this one down and, and having like pushing out to the side. He's moving away from that skate and he's right on that other one. Remarkable, remarkable technique for that time. So let's just watch this straight away in slow motion. Look at how relaxed he is and how composed he is. Minimal. There's not a lot of extra movement. It's all pressure into the ice. It's all under him. And it's all very clean and very, very beautiful. Just so relaxed. He's getting so much relaxation there. Check out a turn from this angle. Again, does this, watch his left skate. Kind of bows out a little but goes in. But the key thing is the timing. Watch the timing. Most skaters of this era were putting the skate down and pushing out to the side. No, he's not doing that. He's purchasing on that right glute right now, dropping the left and right away on that skate. So case for Kirk, one of the greatest ever. So great to show him. Thanks to Saller Terror for the channel. Uh, he has so many great things up from all the world championships in the past. So that's it for Speed Scanning Deconstructed today. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Later, Scanner.